Hello and welcome. Welcome to Reimagine Life Phase 4. Today on day 29, let's focus on boosting your vibration to unlock new options and tuning into your soul vibration. So in this series, we have looked at many options and possibilities. We played with detaching from non-beneficial what-if scenarios. We played with unplugging from information or events or options that are showing up now in your life and putting them in the gray sphere, pushing them away from you. Then you played with putting your ultimate vision into golden spheres and plugging into those spheres the way you would plug in using, let's say one of those USBs. A picture these USBs going from your field into some of those options and possibilities because then it becomes more real and tangible for your consciousness, for your analytical brain, because your brain knows when you use the USB to plug into something, it begins to synchronize. It creates a connection. It exchanges data. So when you're plugging into an option that you desire using a USB, picture maybe a golden USB, then your system knows that you are synchronizing yourself and your field and your reality with that ultimate vision in that golden sphere. Okay, so that will help you in pretty much everything. Then use some of the tools, like use the Rings of Harmony daily. Use Restore Inner Abundance, Love is Power, Perfect Health and Fitness, Unlock Inner Joy, Restore Inner Magic, some of these holographic programs daily. You can run them in the background or you can go a little deeper with them by just activating them and noticing the vortex energies for a few minutes, one minute, two minutes, three minutes. That's really powerful. If you do it multiple times throughout the day, it will give you boost multiple times. So use different tools and processes that will help you to receive a lot of benefits then um, begin to connect with some of the empowering ideas and um, uh, run some of the empowering processes that we have gone through. Um, on, in phase one, we focused on creating your garden, garden of possibilities, bring in cosmic energies and water those seeds that you planted. Time to time, go back then you can focus on noticing how they are unfolding or how they're blooming. And just keep running some of the vortex energies. When you notice disharmony, don't get caught up in all the details and dive into who did what. Your first response is to unplug from it, run the rings of harmony and ask, what would I rather attract? Whether it's in your life or in your family or in your city or in your country or on the planet somewhere, just ask that question because that immediately puts you in a different state within seconds. Then you can start focusing on other things. But if you can unplug first and ask that question mentally, and train yourself to do that always, then you will start the process with uh, empowering connections. And in addition to the tools, start using more of the star energies. You know, um, you have explored some of the star energies with me in this series. And if you have been attending Cosmic Creation and especially Spiritual Alchemy, then we have gone much deeper into harnessing some of the stellar energies to shape reality. They are really powerful because as they come in with different vibration and different information, you focus on setting up the foundation for your next steps. You focus on going up step by step and up meaning ultimately aligning 100% with your higher soul vision and soul vibration. 
So let's continue to play with these energies and boost the energies. And if you have those Taurus plates, then use the Taurus plates, hold them or touch them, run your fingers through them, uh, through the plate while you're focusing on an idea or goal or vision. Think about the toroid field getting generated for that particular idea. There's a lot of programming on the plate. You know, use it, a lot of sacred geometry, a lot of um, star vibration, some of the holographic programs. There are many things encoded. So don't just leave them on the shelf or uh, you know, nicely wrapped somewhere, use them. Use all the tools and processes. And you can continue to uh, review some of the videos that we have done and we have uh, uh, concepts we have explored. So that way you can you know, continuously remind yourself of different processes. The ones that made the biggest difference for you in these uh, four months of our journeys, write them down. Put some bullet points on a paper and uh, maybe on your phone or whatever device that you use. So you remember because three months from now, you will forget many of the uh, journeys and processes we have done. But the ones that made a big difference for you and for your life, remember them. You don't have to remember every single one of them. You know, I forget all, uh, all the things that I do. Uh, but remember the ones that are really important and beneficial for you so that Whenever you look at that paper or that sticky note or the note on your phone, uh, you will give yourself a boost by energetically tuning into the process. And if you have been using some of the matrix imprints, those are the programmed images or the program graphics um, with a lot of layers of um, information about how to interact with your field, then use them daily. You know, gaze at them uh, at night before you go to sleep. That way you can tune into the energies while you sleep. And also, you know, if you have some of the tracks from different programs, uh, meaning like different journeys, uh, use them as a playlist at night or play them throughout the day in the background, especially the ones with encoded music. They're very soothing to listen to. So use these tools and tracks in many different ways to give yourself a boost. Now, when you keep building up layer by layer, your foundation is solid. You want to build a foundation on concrete, not on sand, right? So build a solid foundation with some of the processes and start energies so they can empower you. You can stand on their consciousness and move forward in your life from that level. So in today's journey, let's focus on tuning into your soul vibration. What is soul vibration? It's um, an abstract con uh, concept. Mainly when we think about it, we think about reaching the highest level of your potential that you can reach in this reality. So for our journey, let's play with some of these spiraling energies. And I will ask you to picture a spiraling staircase. You know, they are very familiar from a lot of ancient architecture because they also represent going up. Many of these spiraling staircases on the planet uh, the ancient ones are built with Fibonacci ratio. That's a part of the sacred geometry. And um, most things in the universe have a direct connection with that ratio. You know, how we, how our, like the difference between our eyes, our ears, the shape of our body, how things unfold, things in nature, you know, how trees grow, how plants and flowers grow, everything um, has Fibonacci ratio uh, um, encoded in them. So when you play with these energies, you will give yourself a boost. So let's think about a really magical staircase, a gorgeous staircase 
built with Fibonacci ratio. And you are, uh, wherever you are, you could be somewhere uh, on one of the staircases, um, stairs or at the um, floor, it doesn't matter. Just notice where you are when we start the journey and then start going up. You don't have to force yourself to run up or reach a certain level. Just start going up. Know that every step you take takes you to a slightly higher vibration. And then stop and simply tune into the energies and integrate the energies. So I will ask you to do that during the journey. And in the background, I will start uh, bringing more of your higher level of consciousness, almost like sending out ripples from a different space or a different plane that will be coming toward you. So simply notice the energies and notice what unfolds. Notice your thoughts, feelings, emotions, and simply continue to gradually take the steps one by one. And after each step, notice your accomplishment of reaching another level and be satisfied and look forward to the next phase. Gently close your eyes. Focus on your heart. And begin to breathe in and out. Let's bring up spiraling earth energies from the center of earth and allow these energies to come up through your lower chakras and your feet for grounding. Let's bring down the spiraling rays of the sun through your higher chakras and your crown. You are inside a vortex between the earth and the sun. Notice the energies spiraling through you up and down. Notice your sensations. I will run the rings of harmony for you. And let's focus on flushing out anything that's not beneficial or empowering for you or for your journey. Allow those energies, thoughts, feelings, and information to go into a universal recycle bin. They get transformed. I will bring in the mixture of some of the star energies, including the sun. Notice a gentle vortex forming around you. 
And the energies are also spiraling through every cell, through your DNA strands, through your chakras, meridians, and your energy field. Notice a gorgeous staircase in front of you. It's a spiraling staircase. Notice where you are. Notice the energies. Touch the handrails. Notice the steps. And begin to go up step by step. Every time you go to a new level, Wait, notice the energies with all of your senses. Be grateful for being there. Focus on tuning more into your heart soul vision and soul vibration.
Allow the energies to harmonize for you. Let's breathe in and out deeply and gently a few more times. Let's come back to your present moment. Rub your hands together and gently open your eyes. Welcome back. That was powerful to play with those energies. So notice the energies, notice where you uh, started and where you ended up. There is no rush. If you ran out of staircases, that means you probably, you know, uh, just mentally did it too fast and uh, somehow you wanted to satisfy yourself that you are done. It's a journey. It's not about being done. If it's complete, then, you know, what else do you do, right? If the game is finished, then the game is finished. So it's a matter of playing with different options and then noticing that you can go more or to go deeper or do more, open up even higher levels of, um, access for yourself. So unlock different levels that you couldn't have unlocked before. So that's the game of strategy. So let's play for all kinds of magic and let's notice what shows up and what unfolds. So as you start to play more with star energies, you will notice that significantly things are becoming different. The things will change in your world and in uh, your life, you know, both. So when you play more with the star energies, you can integrate a lot more of the higher vibrational cosmic energies and you can align more with your higher vision. So let's continue to play and explore. And uh, thanks for joining. And let's um, focus on inviting the next phase of our journey with ease and grace and magic.